We can use the processing history to make improvements to a DBE process or apply it to another image. On the left, we have an RGB image to which we've applied a stretch and a dynamic range compression. We've also applied the processes we usually apply at the linear stage, gradient correction and color calibration. We can see all of this if we load the History Explorer. Here we can see seven DBE processes. The first four gradually correct the image gradients, and the last three correct the small residual gradients. In these last three, we've added more samples to the original process before applying. We can see this if we go to the initial state of the image. If we double-click on the first DBE process, the DBE window opens and we can see all the samples. From the fifth iteration onward, we added these extra samples. We used these samples to correct some small gradients that are still in the background. We can see this if we adjust the screen contrast using STF. The first four iterations gradually correct the gradients and the last three correct the small residual gradients. This is particularly noticeable above this bright star where we're correcting a small red gradient. To do this, we simply add more samples without executing and canceling the dynamic session. When we add more samples, the next execution will be recalculated to take them into account. All of these different processes will be saved in the processing history. We can also use the history to apply the same DBE process to a different image. Let's save it as a process container. On the right, we have the luminance image of the same galaxy. If we want to apply the DBE process to this image, we can't simply click and drag it from the process container because these DBE processes contain the statistics of the local backgrounds in the RGB image. To apply it correctly to the luminance image, we need to open the process window so that the statistics for each sample are recalculated using the new image. We can also use the luminance image to improve the process we've applied to the RGB image. Although the luminance image doesn't have the gradient color information, it is in fact a deeper image. For example, we might decide to move these samples away from the galaxy slightly because these points are edging into the external halo of the galaxy and this is more visible in this image because it's deeper. We can move them back and save this process. Now we apply the process to the luminance image. And now that we've moved the samples, we can apply the process to the RGB image again. To do this, we simply go back to the initial state and open the DBE process window with the improved sample positions. We apply it again, and now to rebuild the whole processing sequence, we open the process container for the RGB image, disable all the DBE processes, and apply the rest. Finally, we disable the STF to see the resulting image. On the left, we have the RGB image with the improved DBE process, the color calibration, the stretch, and the dynamic range compression. And on the right, we have the luminance image, still in a linear state with the improved gradient correction.